What's going on guys, welcome to my tutorial on Adobe Dreamweaver Verse Test 5. In this video I'm going to show you guys how to add a Twitter feed to your website. Right over here I have the Adobe Widget Browser open. This is something you can find in Adobe Labs. So I'm going to put a link in the description. It's just an air application, you install it, and then you can browse any widget that you want. All you have to do is click here and add to my widgets. Click go to my widgets and it's added. Now I'm going to click on this and the default is this skin. You can come over here and change the way it looks. I'm going to keep it at the default and I'm also going to look at the configuration. So I just click configure down here. Say I want to do just Adobe. There's a lot of people talking about Adobe. And over here it's anytime somebody mentions Adobe and that's what the filter is. All tweets contain the term. But what I wanted was something just from the user. So I selected only tweets from the user. So obviously this goes to the Adobe account and if we wanted to we could change this to Adobe. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to type in Adobe Easy and this is going to show you guys how little I use Twitter. So I'm just going to save this preset and if you want to, let me just go back for a second to show you guys something before I save it. If you notice that the title link, which this is going to go to, I'm going to change this twitter.com Adobe Easy. Twitter.com, Adobe UC. Let's save preset. And all I'm doing here is I'm saving it to the directory of my website. And let's preview that. So I click on Adobe Easy and it takes me to the Twitter page for Adobe Easy. And I click the bird and it takes me to the same page for Twitter. So this is the page that was created when I configured my widget in the browser. So as you see, it worked, but if you wanted to, you can try again without the browser. So if you want to close this out and you want to go file new, you go insert, select widget, and then you can start all over again. And I select a Twitter client. And if I wanted to choose um, one of the ones I selected over here, I can do that. F12 to test this. We can save it and you have Adobe Easy here. Now if you notice that little picture here is not working because I didn't upload the assets to the website. So what we'll do is come back here and we're gonna upload the files and I'll show you how it would work. So let's go to Window, Files. And I'm gonna put it to the website. So now I just wanna rename my file over here. So I'm gonna go to Edit, Rename. I'm just gonna call this Twitter. Right click on it, select Put. Now let me go to Chrome. If you notice that this page says untitled, we can come over here and this is Dreamweaver stuff, but like you can change the title and call it Twitter if I want to. And I can save that. Let's save it on the Twitter page. Right click on this, select put. Come back here to Chrome, refresh it, and it says Twitter up there. And there's other things you could do with the structure of the page, but I'm not going to get so much into that. I just wanted to show you guys how to add a Twitter feed to your website. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, and I'll see you guys later. Cheers.